Hello Twin Flames and welcome to the DM to the F reading for Monday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels and I'm going to bring in two decks of cards today. We're going to bring in the Divine Masculine Dark Truths and the Divine Masculine Dark Truths come to light. So we're going to bring in some energy about what they're feeling and thinking when they are connecting with you. So thank you Angels and if you would like a personal reading with me, I am available right now. You can email me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com. So what do the masculines want to say to the feminines today? What do they want to get off their chest? Look at this. I'm paying attention. I'm paying attention. Your voice haunts me. I hear you in my head talking to me. Is it real? I wonder. So they are connected to you today, Divine Feminine. They are paying attention to you. They may be watching you on social media, connecting with you in their mind and hearing thoughts that you may be speaking to them in their head. So they are connected. I'm paying attention. I am observing what's going on. They show me in my mind a meerkat. When a meerkat kind of stands up and looks around and pays attention, that's what they are saying to you today. I'm paying attention to you. I'm curious about you. I want to know what you're doing. I want to come back into your life. I want to sort things out. And this is the energy I'm feeling as we move forward. You know, the Masculines have had a very deep, intense week last week, thinking, processing, understanding, working things out. There was a lot of silence there. And it's like they've come out the other side now. You know, they want to come back. They want to communicate. They're feeling more talkative. They want to restore things. So your voice haunts me. I hear it in my head. I hear you in my head talking to me. Is it real? And he's also feeling all the heat between you, all that kundalini, because you were just gorgeous to him or her. You were just so gorgeous to me. When I'm with you, I can't think straight. I act weird and crazy because I want you so bad, because you're just so gorgeous to me. So never doubt how they feel about you or if they are attracted to you because they are. Never doubt that desire because you can feel it and they feel it too. So he is feeling that desire today and it's messing with his head. He's saying, I can't think straight today because you're in my mind. And I may be acting a bit weird and crazy because I want you so bad. I may be acting weird and crazy because I feel you and hear you talking to me. Is all of this real? I wonder. So please forgive me for the past. Please forgive me for all the things I've done. It makes me feel physically sick and unwell when I think about how much pain and suffering I've caused you. I'm sorry for treating you that way. It was wrong and you did not deserve that. Please forgive me. And I feel that you may be hearing songs about forgiveness. You may be hearing songs that remind you that it doesn't serve you or them or the connection or the world to hold on to that pain. Forgiveness is the key. And your twin is saying to you, it makes me feel physically unwell when I think about what I've done. So they don't need to be holding on to that either because it causes them pain. And he's saying, I'm planning on sorting this out. I want us to get together in person. I want to meet up and chat. I want to tell you how I feel. I'm just afraid of messing it up with my stupid behaviour. So thank you for giving me time. I'm not ghosting you. I'm planning. I'm not ghosting you. I'm processing. I'm paying attention. I don't mean to disappear and not reply. I just struggle to deal with what I'm feeling. And sometimes your intensity spooks me. And I feel the need to isolate myself from you to calm down and think. This is when I'm able to process my feelings and our conversation and work out my reply. And I feel this is the energy your twin was in last week. This ghosting energy where he wasn't ghosting you. He didn't mean to disappear and not reply. He was just processing things. He was planning, working things out, working out what to do. And now he wants to come back because he's saying, I understand and I know that we are twin flames. Now, he may not recognise or understand the label. So don't think he's going to start talking to you about the twin flame label and what that means. He's saying, I know we have a bond. I know our souls are one and we are connected because that's how I feel. 
the way I feel when I'm around you, the way I feel when I'm connecting with you. That's what turns him on. That's what makes him feel all this attraction to you. And that's what keeps him coming back to you. And he's saying, I want to enjoy my life with you by my side. I want to start a new adventure. I want to begin again. Now, this is really powerful because we've got two timelines here. Now, you may also be connecting with a Gemini or a Capricorn energy. So what I'm actually feeling there is if there is a Gemini watching or your twin is a Gemini, it's more potent than ever that they are understanding this. And if there's a Capricorn or you're a Capricorn, they know that they want to be with you. But for everyone else, you know, me and George aren't Capricorns or Gemini. So for everybody else, this is the energy of the timings. So it feels like from June until the new year, there's going to be a big shift here. There's a big shift taking place. Now, I'm just looking for my divine timing deck because I want to bring in the timings. And we keep having the energy of Capricorn coming up because it really is a symbol of what you're moving towards. You're moving towards union. You know, look at what it says. I want to enjoy life with you by my side. I want to be with you. I want to start a life with you and I want to be with you in that way. So this is what they are currently working on and working through. So I'm just looking for the Capricorn card in my deck to give you the dates here. Now, timelines are guidelines. We know that. So don't get hung up on the dates and think, oh, you know, I've got to think about these dates, otherwise it won't happen or focus on the dates so much that that's all you can think about because that's not what this reading is about today. Time is fluid. Time is illusion. Time is a man may think. But the energy is shifting between May and January. So between the 21st of May, which is a powerful time, you know, in the 20th of June, which is connected with the summer solstice. And between the 22nd of December, which is also the energy of the winter solstice, to the 19th of January in the new year. This is when a big shift is happening. So what your masculine is saying to you today is, I'm on a journey of discovery. I know that I want to enjoy life with you. And I want you by my side because you bring adventure and freedom into my life. And I've been on a journey of understanding what this journey is. So whenever I seem to be ghosting you or ignoring you, I'm not doing that at all. If I've blocked you or blocked you out, I'm not trying to upset you. I'm just trying to understand what's going on. And I need to block out all distractions, including you, to go within myself to plan what to do. Because I want us to get together in person I want us to meet up I want to apologize to you I want to be with you in that intimate way and I am paying attention to you I'm just doing it the right way I don't want to mess this up so is it real yes is what we have real yes you don't need to wonder about that or think about that because it's true I hear your voice in my head I pay attention to your body, to what you were wearing, to what you were doing, to the people you were spending time with. And it kills me when I think about you with someone else. And it makes me feel physically sick and unwell when I think about how much pain I've caused you. And if that pain has come through the fact that you think I'm ghosting you, I am not ghosting you. I am planning to meet up with you. I want to talk to you. I want to make it right. But I want to do it the right way. And that means doing it at the right time. Not just for me, but for you and everyone else involved in our connection. And this is what's taking place between now and January. I want to enjoy life with you by my side and I fully intend to make this happen. So again, there's this real energy around the potency of between now and the new year. So don't get triggered by timelines or worried about the when or the how. Let the universe sort this out because your masculine is showing you today that they are on their way. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.